the sneak alerts back in the house, yeah. Bit of a quick one. Might go a bit of a middly one, actually. As you know, I put a video up yesterday explaining what was going on, blah, 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 blah. And I got myself a new 4K action camera. Yeah, real 4K, not upscaled, okay? So it's not 2K, it's not silly K. Although they're quite good. I have a Git Up Git Pro 2, and it's a very good little action cam. Stabilization is fantastic, and I can't knock it. Sorry for my untidy desktop, by the way, but that's just me. I'm very untidy. Anyway, so I took some real good 4K video footage today, and it came out absolutely fantastic. And so I thought, right, what do I do? Well, normally I render an open shot, but if we go to open shot, the normally one I use, which is the old one, old one, we go to edit and preferences, okay, and we go to profiles. We cannot do it in full 4K, okay? 1440 by 1080 is the biggest you're going to get, okay? That's the biggest, okay? Or 1920 by 1080. You ain't going to get no bigger than that. I've tried a lot of different ones. When I normally do a video, it's in 1080p, 60 frames a second. This is one here. This is my profile for this version of OpenShot, okay? This is the older version of OpenShot. Now you're saying, well, why do you use it, Sneaky? The reason I use it is because it's so easy and does the job but it doesn't crash like the other one, okay? You know what I'm saying, guys. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so I'll just close it and go to another window a minute. Go back to this one. Right, so I have got this newer version of OpenShot, and it's Hunkly Dory. But since using it tonight, trying to do 4K, I managed to render some, but it just doesn't cut it. You know what? I'll try and open it now for you. Right, ready? I'll open it. And it'll go, oh, it saved my project. But go to OK, and it goes bang. That's it now. That's it. It's, it's got it. It's not going to render anything anymore in my entire life. Which is really unfortunate because we, we are actually lacking in proper high end video editors. Okay. Yeah. I'll come to the others in a minute. And this is the, the big bugbear of when you're trying to work for money using Linux. Remember, I'm a long term Linux user. And I, I love using it. It's just, just who I am, really. You know, that's just what I do. But I really would say, like, like something that actually works. I mean, I even heard somebody complain about OpenShot the other day on Windows, trying to do an ordinary 720p video. It just keeps crashing. I've never had that on the old one on this system. Okay, Bearing in mind, I've just remembered that I really need to update this installation because it's really old. So this may be good or bad, but I'll tell you in a few days because I'm going to update the whole installation to the most current one. Okay. Right, Caden Live, and will import the video, you can't export it. It won't do HD 4K, okay? Unless I go to the PPA, I might get it, and I might not. But the last time I used Caden Live, it was like, as soon as you started doing some intricate stuff, it crashed like a crashy thing, okay? So, there's not many options for 4K video editing at the end of the day, is there? Which is what I really want to go up to now. Because, at the end of the day, everybody's now doing 1080p, some of you have started doing 1080p 60, which is what you should be doing, really. Everybody can do that, and it renders nice on most machines. But if you want to do 4K, I mean, a little video i done earlier, this one runs for about ooh, two minutes and three seconds, maybe. That's two gig of data. That's an awful lot of information for a machine to handle. So if you are going to do it, you've got to remember that at the end of the day, you might as well go and have your dinner, do some cooking, brew some beer, come back in a week's time. Or something like that. So I've had Lightworks for, well, I've not used Lightworks for a bloody long time. Really, really, really long time. And I thought, well, I'll download the free version again, because I haven't, you know what, I registered for it in 2013. I used it about twice, and I was just think, oh, I can't be bothered, you know, to learn all new stuff, because all the stuff I'm doing is not really intricate. Yes, I can do stuff, but yeah, it, it, was, it wasn't, it was too much for what I was doing at the time. Right. Now, 4K on Lightworks, I'll just play the video clip here. You won't be able to hear the video, but as you can see, that's you probably hear something in the background. That's 4K, right, running in the engine. It's not actually stressing the CPU out at all, you know. That's 4K UHD, 2160. I know what I'm saying, yeah, okay. I'll just close that, or stop that, shall I say, and run that back. Now, in this, I can render as much as I like. And it doesn't crash. There's no buffeting, which when using open shot, it has to try and keep it catching up all the time. It's always only trying to use one core and then decides to use all eight. And then goes back to one for ten minutes and back to eight. 
And the light works, unfortunately, it doesn't happen. Now, the bad thing about this is, if I click there and click on Export, I can export to YouTube and back up and interchange. But because this is the free version, I'll show you what I mean, if I go to Media Files, I cannot upload to H.264, MP4 or any other one, or DVD or Blu-ray. The only one I can do is 720p, 30 frames a second. Okay. Now, unfortunately, that's no good for me, and it would be no good for you. And if you want to upgrade, I'll tell you what, I'll open a browser while we're here. Okay. I'll have a meow browser. I'll have a drinkage while we're here. Hang on a minute. Mmm. That was lovely. We just got to light works. Already there because I've been there doing stuff, okay. as you do. And it is a really good editor. I've been playing with it all night, actually, and I thought, well, why didn't I do this before? What an idiot. Okay. So it goes to downloads, and that's the one we can get, okay? But if we scroll down well, to Lightworks Pro, so this is what you get by upgrading. Now they want money at the end of the day, okay? So you can have a monthly license, so you can just use it for one month if you want, which is what I might do, and just how it goes. And you get all the updates and everything else that you want. By the way, this is for Windows, Mac, and Linux, okay? So that's all for everybody in this video. You can buy a yearly license with Bogus FX. I'm not sure if that works with Linux. I'm not too worried about that. Choose package. Oh, maybe it does, okay. Who knows? Who knows, who knows, who knows? Or you can buy an outright license for 250 squids, okay? okay so one activation, 250 squids. You get minor updates, but no major updates. That's a bit of a bum err, isn't it, really? No. So what do you do? You get the plugins for this as well for Avid DNX HD. That's the Sony one. If you've got a Sony uh, cam, it does work. It's only 45 quid for the license, but that's forever. Okay, that's all right. But now we're getting into the, the style of stuff now. I'm just going to close them all down. Now we're getting into the place where do you want to do videos professionally and pay to use the software or not? This is the quandary. So what I might do next week or the week after, I might stump up the cash and just try it for one month only and see how we go. Yeah, just see how we go. Because uh, the 4K quality, I know it's only the action cam, but the, the quality is unbelievable. Yes, I do have to get a gimbal for the camera. Okay, There is no uh, image stabilisation on what I've got. Only at 1080p 60 and down. So if you want to do 4K with image stabilisation, you're going to get a decent gimbal. And a decent one is about 240 squids okay for a metal one okay so what do you do who knows who knows who knows light works stick it out of open shot that keeps crashing and you never know it's going to work again or what no i don't want to close that same go away so i'm in the country that's how it happens so what do you think do you stump up the cash to do 4k or do you try and find something else it runs on a machine. Don't mean my my machine's like whoosh, over the top. What do I do? If you want that 4K stuff in Linux, you might have to stamp up at the end of the day. Oh, you know how tight I am. Sneaky Linux out. See you later. Bye bye.